Hi, Fields of Life family. My name is Naomi. I am part of the Fields of Life staff team based in Northern Ireland. We hope that you are well and trust that you are staying safe. At Fields of Life, we believe in prayer. We believe in realities beyond what we can see and touch today and that when we pray, things happen that we couldn't strategize or engineer. Just before the severity of this global pandemic became apparent, we had already been planning for a season of intentional and sacrificial prayer. We choose to believe that God is behind these plans. Um, and while we don't understand everything or see the future, we trust in him. This week, we have been uniting the Fields of Life family to pray 24 seven for our world at this unprecedented time. And it's amazing to think that every hour, someone is praying in Uganda, East Africa, the UK, Ireland, or the US. I want to share with you today just some scripture that has given me hope and courage. And if it isn't too strange, I'd love to encourage you just to close your eyes for a moment, take a deep breath and listen. I'm reading from Lamentations chapter 3 verse 19 to 32 and this is the message version. I'll never forget the trouble, the utter lostness, the taste of ashes, the poison I've swallowed. I remember it all, oh how well I remember the feeling of hitting rock bottom. But there's one other thing I remember and remembering I keep a grip on hope. God's loyal love couldn't have run out. His merciful love couldn't have dried up. They're created new every morning. How great is your faithfulness. I'm sticking with God. I say it over and over. He's all I've got left. God proves to be good to the man who patiently waits, to the woman who diligently seeks. It's a good thing to quietly hope, quietly hope for help from God. It's a good thing when you're young to stick it out through the hard times. When life is heavy and hard to take, go off by yourself, enter the silence, bow in prayer. Don't ask questions, wait for hope to appear. Don't run from trouble, take it full face. The worst is never the worst. Why? Because the master won't ever walk out and fail to return. If he works severely, he also works tenderly. His stockpiles of love are immense. This passage describes someone who turns to God when life is really heavy. And in turning to God, they are held by love that doesn't pretend everything is okay, but that transcends all chaos and suffering and uncertainty. My prayer for you today is that you would experience in your soul the same quietness and hope described here, even now, even if you never have before. I pray that you would be aware of the God who sees you, who is for you and who is with you. There are just a couple of slots left towards the end of our prayer week and we would love you to join in. You can sign up um, via using the link to our website. And lastly, I have been listening to a new song on repeat at the moment um, that I'd love to um, get you to check out. It's called The Blessing and it's by Elevation Worship. You can get it on YouTube or Spotify or however you normally get your music. Have a great day and know that we at Fields of Life are praying for you. God bless.